Hey everybody, my name is Brian Pierre Grossi, author of The Big Glow and The Wow of the Now, life coach, mindfulness coach, been leading retreats with people around the world, been leading workshops and classes around peace as the foundation for living an optimal life. So it's beautiful to be with you on this day that we celebrate peace, that we celebrate peace in the world, we celebrate world peace. We celebrate peace with our brothers, peace with our sisters, peace with our family, peace with our neighbors, peace with uh, other nations, peace with our surroundings, our environments. And the foundation that I discovered for this peace in the world is the peace that is accessible, that is possible to realize within oneself. So the peace within is the foundation for the peace in the world. And so in exploring this and realizing this, that peace begins with me. You know, Gandhi said, be the change you want to see, right? A really simple but really profound statement. Gandhi said, be the change that you want to see in the world. And that's what my life is dedicated to, to inspiring people to awaken, to realize the peace that they're looking for is within themselves and lies within themselves and can be realized within oneself. And when we realize this peace within ourselves, when we become at rest with who we really are, then we're able to give this peace to everyone that we come in contact with, everyone that enters our life, everyone that we meet on the streets, the grocery store, at the cash register, at the bank, right? Everyone that we encounter, we're able to gift this peace with because this peace is emanating out from the very essence of who and what we are. So how do you realize this peace? This peace that lies within yourself that once you realize it in yourself you can give to everyone as a natural gift it's like an effervescence you know it's like something that's just just comes to the surface it's just the core of who you are and it's the core of who we all are but we forget we lose connection to this truth we get attached identified the stories of the ego and stories of what could happen and what might happen and Things that happened from the past. This person did this to me and that person did that to me. And lose awareness of the peace that's here now. The peace that's always present in this moment, right now. The peace that's always available here. Peace that can never be anywhere else. We realize this peace by doing what I just did right there, by taking space, by paying attention to what's here, by noticing what's here. When we notice what's here, when we're present with what's here, the mind quiets. The mind quiets. The mind that's thinking about the future, the mind that's thinking about what could happen, worried about what could happen, stressed about what could happen. The mind that's thinking about the past, worried about the past and holding on to the past and trying to grapple with the past. And there's this moment where there's a there's an opening, there's a break. And 
and there's just this attunement to what's here. And when you are at peace with what's here, you are emanating that peace into the world. So the great realization, the great liberation, the great freedom, the good news is you can be at peace inside yourself regardless of what is happening in the moment, regardless of the temporary passing circumstances. This is the good news. So whatever is arising, whatever is happening, the, the, the rise and fall, the appearing and disappearing, there's a peace that underlies that. Being at peace with what is. Being at peace with the, the person who you thought was a bit rude to you at the, uh, at the grocery store. You know, being at peace with the traffic that's in front of you on the roadway. Being at peace with the technological challenges that aren't quite going the way you thought they were on a particular morning. Being at peace with your child not behaving in the way you think they should. Right, so we can be in the space of peace within, we can be grounded in the space of peace within, while still responding, while still taking action that makes a positive difference in the world, that moves the world into the world that we wanna see, that we wanna create, that we envision into a more beautiful world. In fact, it's the best way to do it. The best way to create a more beautiful world is to come from a place of peace inside, is to come from a place of clarity inside. Is to come from a grounded place inside. It's the only way to create a more beautiful world. Peace must be the foundation, right? Peace is the foundation for creativity and art and dreaming and visioning and imagining because we don't have peace then our energy must go to our attempt at survival to trying to survive to trying to have our basic needs met so finding this peace within ourselves, finding this peace and emanating out into the world in a way that is creative in a way that is visionary in a way that imagines a more beautiful world and co-creates that with others from a foundation of resting in the ground of being of who and what we truly are and who and what we truly are when we take a deep breath When we relax into this moment, we rest into this moment. Who and what we truly are is peace. And this is the great, this is the great freedom. This is the great freedom that rests inside ourselves. And that we have the potential to realize. And we have the potential to share with the world. Peace be with you wherever you are, whoever you are, however you are. Thank you so much for sharing these moments with me. Thank you so much for showing up with the intention of peace. And I wish you a beautiful rest of your day and celebration of, of peace. And 
may we set the intention to create a more beautiful world together.